Tampa Bay Buccaneers have promoted inside linebacker Kenny Young as well as wide receiver Kalen Geiger from the practice squad to the active roster. We talked about this in a separate video. Giovanni Bernard and Josh Wells were placed on the injured reserve today by the Bucks, and now in their place with those two open roster spots, the Bucks decided to add Geiger at wide receiver and Young at inside linebacker. And firstly, in the case of Geiger, he was elevated to the active roster for week two versus the Saints due to all the injuries that were going on regarding Julio Jones, regarding Chris Godwin, among some of the other situations that were going on with guys dealing with nagging injuries. Kalen Geiger was in the game, played a little bit on special teams, but overall didn't really see too, too much action. This could be just an insurance type move, considering Godwin and Jones are still dealing with injuries. We're not 100% sure on what the availability for those players is going to be in week number three. Also, Mike Evans is dealing with a suspension. He did appeal that suspension. We'll probably be talking about that in a separate video today as well, but we don't know what is going on with that situation either. So Geiger is definitely a depth wide receiver addition for the Bucks, who has a little bit of value on special teams. Then in the case of linebacker Kenny Young, this one shouldn't be surprising. Kenny Young is a very solid, very good linebacker who has a plethora of starting experience in the league, still very young, 26, 27 years old, has played a good amount of special teams as well. This is one that I could see sticking for the Bucks moving forward in Young being a regular part of the active roster, a special teams player, maybe even a backup rotational linebacker as well. You have guys like Levante David, Devin White, KJ Britt, and Ola Kunle Fadukasi already on the roster, but adding Kenny Young I don't think is a crazy thing at all. Could even be the third inside linebacker, really put some pressure on guys like Fadukasi and Britt moving forward for snaps. So this one I think could really stick. Geiger will have to wait and see. The Buccaneers did just add Cole Beasley recently to the practice squad as well. The expectation with that is he is eventually going to be promoted to the active roster, so we'll have to wait and see what the Buccaneers decide to do with their wide receiver room. It seems like it is a very, very fluid situation, but Geiger should still be a good depth piece, very good on special teams as well, uh, with a few opportunities he will get there moving forward. And then the case of Kenny Young, just a really good special teams guy at first who has definitely the potential to play some inside linebacker at some point for the Bucs moving forward as well. But those are the two additions that the Buccaneers made to their active roster after Giovanni Bernard and Josh Wells were placed on the injured reserve. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the comments section below. What do you think about Kenny Young and Kalen Geiger being promoted from the practice squad to the Bucks active roster? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.